The short version is that in metaphysics, metaphysics is the science of what is. It's mm -hmm. the study of what is. Ayn Rand held that reality is what it is. Sounds obvious, but a lot of philosophers uh, think that reality is, in a sense, a creation of our own consciousness. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we, it, or it's a creation of somebody else's consciousness, God or whatever, right? But for Rand, reality is what it is. A is A, to quote Aristotle. The law of identity holds, the law of causality holds. Things act according to their own identity, and the identity uh, is firm. Um, and that, uh, you know, so that's metaphysics. In epistemology, the study of knowledge, she held that reality is knowable. It's knowable through reason, through our senses and through our reasoning faculty, our, our faculty of reason. Um, it's not knowable through your emotions. It's not knowable through revelation. And it's not, as modern philosophy would teach us, unknowable, right? Mm -hmm. Most modern philosophers believe oh, we don't know what reality really is. Mm -hmm. We just know what we pretend reality is or we make up reality. Or, and so she was a huge advocate of reason. Right? Of, 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 the, of the ability of human beings to understand, know reality, abstract form it, create, you know, form concepts from it, and ultimately manipulate nature for our own means. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the question is, who reasons? Just like we don't have a collective stomach, so nobody else can eat for you, mm -hmm. we don't have a collective brain. There's no collective consciousness. Nobody can eat for you, and it's also true that nobody can think for you. You have to do your own thinking. Indeed, she argued that their life depends on you doing your own thinking. Mm -hmm. So for Rand, the individual is the unit that matters because it is the unit that thinks. It is the unit that's alive. And so her morality, her ethical code is an ethics of, uh, it's an ethics of egoism. It's an ethics of self-interest. The purpose of your life is your life. Mm -hmm. It's your flourishing. It's your survival. It's ultimately your happiness. Indeed, your moral purpose of your life is your own happiness. To contrast with the common view, which the ethical purpose of your life is to sacrifice for others, particularly if they're needy, particularly if they're weak. Uh, so everybody else is important. You're not. For Rand, you're important. Your relationship with everybody else is dictated by you by your life, by your values. Other people are value because they contribute to your life. Um, so she was not a believer in sacrificing to others, but she was also not a believer in sacrificing other people to you. Every individual is an end in himself. Every individual is striving to happiness. Sacrifice is not appropriate in terms of human interaction. The way human beings should interact is through the process of trade where the spiritual or material mm -hmm. and then the question is okay the next kind of issue in philosophy is politics well if the purpose of your life is your happiness what political system is most appropriate for individuals seeking their happiness well here you have to answer the question well how do you seek your happiness mm -hmm. the appropriate way for human beings to seek happiness is by using their mind by using their reason. It is their means of survival. It is their faculty of knowing the world. Every value that we have is a product of human reason. Somebody's reasoning, somebody's thinking, everything we have around us, somebody thought and produced. Mm -hmm. So what is the enemy of, of reasoning, of thinking, of using your mind? Well, force, coercion, mm -hmm. authority. So how do we create a political system where we don't have force, coercion, authority. That's, we have to have the concept of individual rights, which basically bridges morality to politics. So basically says, your life is yours. You have the freedom to pursue the values that you deem necessary for your survival, rationally using reason. Mm -hmm. Nobody can use force against you. That's the meaning of rights. The right to life is the right to pursue your values, free of coercion. And of course, the political system that institutionalizes individual rights is capitalism, the system in which the government's only job is the protection of individual rights. So she rejects socialism or any kind of statism where the state is more important than the individual, where the state imposes its will on the individual. So fascism, 
the mixed economy, statism, the world as we ha have today, all those political systems she rejects. She is, believes in a pure form of capitalism, the only kind of form of capitalism, capitalism, where the only role of government is to protect your rights and your life. And on top of that, she also has a theory of aesthetics, of art, why it's important for your life, why art is crucial, why you shouldn't live without art, and what is good art, what is bad art, what and what, how does art fulfill a need? Uh, but, but in that sense, she's one of the few philosophers in human history that has a view on all the key questions in philosophy. She's a system builder. She, she's not just a like Locke, who's primarily a political philosopher, uh, but she, is, she has a view and an original view and a new view on pretty much every key question that philosophers have been asking for the last 3,000 years. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want, to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes but uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.